thank you guys so much for watching. So today I am going to be sharing my January beauty and lifestyle favorites. So I always like to begin with the beauty stuff first. So the first would be the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Hair Mask. After you shampoo, you leave this on your hair, kind of like a conditioner for three minutes and it leaves your hair super shiny, super moisturized, and it smells really good. It smells like coconut and it's about $3 at any drugstore. This is a brand new one that I just recently picked up at Target and I think it was like $2.97. And then the other day, well not the other day, weeks ago, I went to CVS and they had a BOGO sale so I bought two. So these are amazing and it's a good drugstore product so I highly recommend it. And since we're on the topic of drugstore products, I still want to talk about more drugstore beauty products that I have been obsessed with. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. Um, so you just pretty much rub this on your face after you moisturize or if you don't have really dry skin you could use this as a moisturizer i've had like patchy skin ever since i got pregnant or maybe it's the weather i love this as a primer you just rub it all over your face and it smells pretty pleasant it's like it doesn't have a very strong scent at all so i like that since we're on the topic of primers i can't help it but i have two favorites this month one is my drugstore elf and then this i just recently discovered and i've been using it for a week and i just love it it's super moisturizing perfect for you know the winter perfect for like skin that really needs hydration this is by Kors or Kores, the greek yogurt smoothie priming moisturizer it smells really good but not like a really strong scent and when you put it on you can feel that it is moisturizing your skin so you can skip a moisturizer for sure more so with this than this um you know the of course than the elf but man i love it sometimes i do skip moisturizer when i use this one so it's like you know a two-in-one product because I don't have to use moisturizer and then primer I'm just using this and it's moisturizing and priming my skin before I apply foundation but I only have one foundation favorite this month you guys this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation I have to admit the shade this is not the perfect shade for me it's buff bisque it's like a light medium I need to get something that's like medium golden a little bit maybe on a tanner side but this foundation lasts so long the applicator I'm not a fan of to be honest it looks like this it looks like kind of like a spatula I'm not a fan of the applicator simply because when I'm putting on foundation if I'm already dressed sometimes there'll be little like droplets of the foundation onto my shirt and I'm like dang it I gotta change my shirt and it's happened many times so what I prefer are um, pumps um, or just ones you open and it's just straight up, you know, just there for you to pour the foundation out. But my favorite like type of packaging for foundation are pumps because then I could just pump it onto my finger, put it on my face, use a beauty blender. And I like using a beauty blender with this. This is an amazing foundation because you can build it up. It can be medium coverage or really heavy coverage or if you're using a beauty blender with it super wet, it can be even a light coverage. Um, when I have it on, I still see, you know, like the freckles on my nose and things like that. And I do like that. I love that this foundation is amazing for oily skin because it's hard for me to find a foundation that lasts like pretty much for over eight hours or so. And this lasts forever. I do have to admit that I use the pure powder on top. There is a powder that you can buy that's like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder. That one is a beautiful, finely milled powder, but it has a scent to it, which is why I don't use it regularly. But this foundation is definitely a must try as far as a drugstore foundation if you're looking for something. And it's mainly water-based and it's paraben-free and it's oil-free. This foundation is mainly advertised as something that doesn't give you any photo flashback. Honestly, I have taken pictures with it and I do see a little bit of like a white cast but that's probably only because it's a little too light for my skin or I don't know but I'll let you guys know when I get the right um, foundation color instead because I can't really judge that whole flashback because if it's looking too light it looks like a flashback to me uh, but overall the formula and how it feels on my skin it's lightweight and it mattifies the skin for someone who is like a crazy oily um, person. My other favorite is called Juvalips. It's a natural lip 
Thumper. This is actually a PR sample, but I'm not being sponsored or anything. They just reached out to me and they were like, you want to try it? And I'm like, yeah. So I tried it the other day and you just pretty much put it on your lips and then it sucks your lips like that and you leave it on for like 60 seconds and it plumps your lips. And it really does plump your lips and it doesn't hurt because it's just kind of like a vacuum that sucks your lips. And this is called Juva Lips and I highly recommend it if you guys want like temporary plump lips. This is not like, you know, you're gonna get results for weeks on end like. Oh, and by the way, let me know if you guys wanna see a dedicated video where I show you guys before and after because it totally works but like the results are not too drastic. And then my other beauty favorite is this Hello Fab Vital Green Space Mist. It's a refreshing set, so you can pretty much use this without makeup. You can just spray your face in the morning and then just like, you know, run errands without any makeup and your face feels nice and refreshed. Um, but I like using this as a setting spray and I'm almost running out. If you guys can tell, I'm like more than halfway out of this product. But I like it because it kind of leaves like a dewy finish, which is what I have on right now because sometimes... I don't want a matte finish. I want like a nice dewy finish, but something that doesn't make me look too crazy oily shiny. And I feel like this does just that. And I think it's a really good packaging. It's two ounces, so it's travel friendly, so I can fly with this. As far as the moisturizer for the winter that I love using every single night, I'm like obsessed with, is the Pure Lease. I first heard about this, like I think through like an Ipsy Glam bag years ago. And I wasn't like, into it my skin wasn't like right for this product at the time but now i have like patchy skin dry skin my skin is well it's combo oily and dry but i feel like there are no moisturizers that really moisturize my face and take care of the patchiness like this so this is like a winter must have it's by pure lease it's the prevent blue lotus balancing moisturizer i rediscovered this again when i went to the generation beauty um ipsy event in san francisco and it's so funny because that's how i first heard about it like years ago when they had it in like an ipsy bag um so it's kind of like full circle and i'm loving this product they also have sheet masks and eye creams but this is my go-to and I'm getting scared. I need to make an order because I am running out, but this was free from the event, the Generation Beauty event. I posted this on my Instagram. By the way, I would love for you guys to join me on Instagram. My Instagram is at AprilThena7. So this is the thing I'm talking about. So <laughs> it is a beauty blender holder. I love using my beauty blender and I got this cute little holder from the site Shein. It's like a Chinese site. I also got this sweater from the site Shein too. And I like that site. I mean, sometimes the shipping takes a while, but they, you know, it gets shipped and it's never like bad like quality or anything. You just have to know what you're going to get. Sometimes the sizing is off, especially now that, you know, I'm I have a growing belly. I have to realize like, oh, sometimes their sizes run small, so I can't get that. It would never look right. So you just have to consider those things when you buy from clothing brands overseas, but I am so happy with my little beauty blender. A lot of people are telling me I'm super extra because of that, but let me tell you, this is the best little holder for your beauty blender because it was made for your beauty blender and it dries the beauty blender so wonderfully that the next day you have a super clean beauty blender that it's not like all wet it, that's just gross so this is perfect i mentioned this so many times but i'm obsessed with it it's the acai body power cream by sol de janeiro i am already halfway gone with this thing so i have to maybe make an order but this was actually a pr sample from sol de janeiro and i really appreciate them so much i have one to give away in the future and then after that, I got to buy some more because this is amazing this stuff. It smells really good. Do you guys remember the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream that I bought on Amazon so long ago and I talked about them? That's how they found me and that's how I got on their PR list. But let me tell you guys, this doesn't smell as strong as the Bum Bum Cream. 
This doesn't have the shimmers like the Bum Bum Cream. And sometimes you don't want shimmer. You just want to moisturize without the shimmer, without like a crazy strong scent. I like that, you know, the original Bum Bum Cream. But I love this more so for every day. Like before I go to bed, I put it on. I rub it on my belly. I rub it on my back. I rub it on my legs. It's just an all over body cream that's so luxurious. And now to the random lifestyle favorites, you guys. So, <laughs> this cute little dinosaur, it's perfect for holding my phone. So like, I use this while I get ready in the day to watch YouTube videos uh, <laughs> or anything on it. And now we're moving on to another subject. This is a cookie scooper. I love this. Man, when we moved to this house, I think I donated my old cookie scooper. Can't find it anywhere. So I went to Sir La Tab and I bought this. And I really appreciate this. This is good quality. It's super heavy. And like if you're into baking, this is heaven sent. Because you know, most recipes, they want you to have a tablespoon of like to scoop a cookie. This is a tablespoon. It's perfect, you guys. So this was a PR sample, I believe in the summer. It's a Swell water bottle. And before they even gave this to me, I was um, aware of Swell water bottles because I had so many different kinds for like from um, going to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. They had a baby center a panel that I went to and they gave away white Swell water bottles. And then I ended up getting two because Justin got one and I gave one to Justin's mom. And I love, love Swell water bottles. They keep your water cold for like over eight hours. You just put it, put your water in. You don't have to keep it in the fridge. You can just keep it in room temperature. I even, one time in the summer, I tested it out. I put my water in like the hot car. I left it there for like hours. I went back to it. I drank the water and it was still cold. I was like, holy moly, this really works. So I highly recommend a swell water bottle. It's completely stainless steel inside and it's insulated. Um, and you know, it's very easy to clean. You can hand wash it. I put it through my dishwasher even though it says not to, but I don't notice any ba some, anything bad happening with me putting it in the dishwasher. But like it says, it says to hand wash. So I recommend maybe hand washing so that you know you keep it longer than me. Yeah. My other favorite is the Speculos cookies from Trader Joe's. They're so good when you dip it in tea. Oh my gosh, the flavors. It, it's so good. It's just like eating like a solid cookie butter because this is what cookie butter is made out of. It's so good. And my last favorite is Colgate Wisp. Um, I like the, not this scent or flavor. This one is the Max Fresh. I like the green one, but I, I couldn't find the green one. But this is really great for keeping in your purse. Um, if you want to freshen your breath, if you've got stuff on your teeth, if you need to get something from out of your teeth, you know. This is just great. These have been around for forever now, but I noticed that they're getting hard to find. And I don't know why, maybe it's not something popular, um, but I still really love them and I try to have them in my purse. I don't carry this entire container. I usually just take like one or two with me and I carry it in my purse. And honestly, I don't really carry it for myself. I carry it for Justin because he always gets something stuck in his teeth when we eat, <laughs> when we eat out. So these, this is really helpful. So those are my January beauty and lifestyle favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.